Hello and welcome to Lead Talk. I'm Eric Collender, Professor of Business um, at Concordia University, Wisconsin, and also our Director of Strategic Growth and Business Development. And today, what I'm going to talk about is using passion to climb your own corporate ladder. For most of us, we enter the workforce regardless of where we are. We enter the workforce and generally fall flat on our face because we're not equipped with the right tools or we don't understand what those tools are and how to use them. So one of the tools that I'm going to focus on again is passion. And one of the things I like to talk about with passion is its core definition. So most of us, when we think of the word passion, some of the things that come to mind might be excitement, enthusiasm, um, completing something, uh, something about the future, those types of things. When we go back to the definition of it, according to Merriam-Webster, Merriam-Webster defines passion as a strong feeling of enthusiasm or excitement for something or about doing something. I often like to take things and put it into my own words because I don't really like the concrete, black and white um, definitions of things. My definition of passion is channeling your inner awesomeness in a way that exudes so much energy that it becomes contagious and may even inspire someone. So now if you take that passion and you start thinking about people that are passionate I ask you to start putting in your mind some pictures of people that you feel are passionate about things. I often in classes and some presentations when I talk about passion have some photos that pop up. For an example, I use Rudy. I use uh, Emeril Lagasse. They're passionate about food. Rudy was passionate about Notre Dame football. I use Malcolm X. He was passionate about civil rights. I use Alexander Graham Bell. He was passionate about ideas and creating things. So I often ask the audience, and I, I'll ask you yourself to think about what your passion is. Is it food? Is it traveling? Is it sports? Is it music? What is that passion that drives you? I often love being in a group setting to be able to ask people what passion is, because I usually get a mix in the audience. And one of the first questions I'll ask people is, what you do for a living? Most people respond, whether you're a student, I work here, I work there. And I asked if you could wake up every day and do what you want, what would that be? Would it still be being a student? Would it be the gas station attendant? Would it be the director or supervisor or manager? Most people, when they think about it initially, say, yeah, that's okay. I'd like to do that every day. Now, what if we take away all of those restrictions? Money, we take away time, make it all limitless. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. Would that change what you would want to do, that you'd want to wake up for every day? Would you do what you love? If you want to travel, would you travel? And then I ask back to you, why don't you do what you do? If you would want to travel and make that your passion, why don't you align that passion with a way to make that happen and get those barriers out of your way? A lot of us don't really find a way to do that. We find a lot of excuses because we don't follow what that passion really is. So I'll take another step back and kind of go back along with defining passion, but defining what I like to call our MVP, your mission, vision, and your purpose. Your mission is really why you exist. Your vision talks about where you're going, what it is you're trying to achieve, and your purpose of what it is that you want to do. I go back to those ideas and thoughts that came in your mind earlier, talking about what passion is. Is it excitement? Is it enthusiasm? If we go back to my definition, having that inner awesomeness come out that you might actually inspire some type of um, contagious feeling. If you could do that to somebody, at least I try to do, and I know many of us try to do that here in higher education, but if we could do that to people and find that passion sooner in life, if you got to work for 20 or 30 years, want to be more fun and entertaining, if you were able to find that passion earlier and work at something you love to do and woke up because you wanted to do, not because you had to do it. I often show a video about a gentleman, uh, he's a comedian named Michael Yun, Michael, yeah, Michael Yun, and what he does is he, he travels the country talking, um, sharing some different things about passion, about leadership, and he often takes a break in his, um, in his shows where he just kind of talks to the audience, and he has a name for it, which I don't recall at the moment, but we'll tell you about the link for that here in a minute, but there's one episode that I usually show to the crowd when I talk about passion show to my audiences, asking about knowing your why. And what Michael does is he asks for a gentleman in the audience, raises his hand, finds out that he teaches music at a university. So what he does is he asks him if he could give him a few bars of singing Amazing Grace. So the gentleman sings beautifully for a couple of minutes, starts to sing Amazing Grace, 
and everybody can generally agree around him. You can see the mannerisms and the excitement. This guy's got a wonderful voice, and he does a really good job singing. Now what Michael does to this gentleman is he gives some different context to him, and now he adds some fuel to the fire and asks him to think about as if one of his family members was in prison, if he got shot in the back, his friends left him. He painted this really kind of dark place, and he said, now I want you to sing Amazing Grace again. And the passion that you'll see in this link that I'll tell you about here in a few minutes is really that tangible feeling of passion. He knew his why in the beginning. When he was first asked to sing Amazing Grace, he knew how to get from A to B. He sang a song and he completed it. But then when he did it again with that context, his passion came out. It's one of those things that you can feel and see when you're given that context. And that's what people are looking for. And if you can use that passion and bring that out for someone to see, that's going to slowly help you climb your own ladder because people are going to want that passion to become contagious for you, for your coworkers, for your staff. And that's one way that you can use something that you already have and that you know that exists, but you might just need some help finding it. So what I would encourage you to do is to go back out. You can go on YouTube and look up a video um, on, it is on Mike, Michael Jr. called Knowing Your Why. And if you see that and watch that, it's a few minutes long, you'll understand kind of what I'm saying with passion and adding that context to see how that'll work out for you. Sorry, I didn't give you.